Welcome collectors and diecast enthusiasts. Thank you for joining me for another brand new episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the classic construction models Caterpillar 385C FS front shovel. This is a older release from CCM, which was originally released back in 2012. However, uh, it is still currently, as of the time that I am filming this review in November of 2021, it is still currently directly available from CCMmodels.com, so make sure that you check them out at the end of this video if you find that you want to purchase one of these for your collection. So if we rewind a little bit further, go back about 10 years or so ago, there were actually two versions of the 385 produced. There was this version, the 385 front shovel, and then the 385 excavator. Now, chances are you've already seen my review on the 385 excavator, but this is actually the first time that I'll be filming a review on the front shovel version. So, there were 750 of these made, the front shovel version, which is actually a pretty high production number for a classic construction model. Uh, this measures 10.5 inches long, its width is 3.5 inches, and its height is 4.5 inches. So again, not the largest of front shovels, but certainly uh, not, a, not a small model by any stretch of the imagination either. So a little bit of information about the real CAT 385 before we start the model review. The CAT 385C front shovel was developed specifically for high production mining. The rugged car body, underframe, and track rollers evenly disperse forces in the toughest of applications. With a bottom dump bucket, the 385FS can move 5.7 cubic meters and over 10 tons in a single pass. Powered by the C18 Assert engine, this impressive machine balances strength with efficiency. So that's the sales brochure for you. Let's get back and take a look at the model. So as I said before, this is still currently available directly from CCM for around $250 US, give or take, which I think is one of the best deals uh, that you can get right now for CCM models. That is actually the MSRP price, what it was when it came out 10 years later, price hasn't changed. There has been no appreciation because these haven't sold out. So. Again, can't encourage you enough. If you want one, go get one before you can't get them anymore. So as you can see, the tracks are metal. There's a lot of detail on each of the track frames, the rollers, uh, the steps to gain entry, even the bolts that are on the, the main portion here, you can see. The only really rubber that's on this model, aside from the hydraulic lines, are these access railings. These railings and such, these are, as you can see here, these are rubber as well, or plastic. Um, but these, the ones in yellow, and these back here in black, those are metal. You can see the crisp cat decaling all throughout with 385 CFS. The power stripe here, because this was a machine around that era, 2007 up to 2018. On the back, there's a nice look at the cat counterweight. You can see the holes here coming around to this side again furthermore detailing all throughout here's another access stair a mirror these heavy hydraulic pistons which have the guarding on them because this is a mining machine so you have to have protection on your pistons again all throughout you have cat up here coming around to the front of the front shovel that gives us a look at our aggressive six-tooth bucket. Again, all metal. You can see all of the different wear plating that's on the back of this. Here are your pins, obviously, which control the opening and closing of the bottom dump bucket. If you look here on your cab, once again, this is uh, your falling object protection package on the cab guard, which you can see has been replicated quite realistically. A smaller detail that I really like on the boom and stick is the... Uh, lifting eyes you can see here are actually drilled through. I don't know if you can see that, but my pointer is actually going through those holes to show you that they do have some depth to it. Uh, you have several opening components on this excavator front shovel, one of which is the main operator's door, which you can open right there. You have your joysticks, levers. There's even a control console with a screen in there that you can just make out has some information on the digital readout screen at your closes 
very well. Coming over here, looking at the top-down version of the model, again, the high level of detail and precision continues. You have some um, visibility that has been drilled through on the engine cover, so you can see some components down. Uh, here's your hydraulic detailing for your swing motor. More hydraulic detailing all throughout. The main engine hatch does open. As you can see here, so you can pose a figure or two doing some maintenance. The side hatch does open as well, although not quite to a great angle without forcing it on mine. And again, that gives you a good look inside there. There's one more opening panel, which is just this little tidbit here, which again gives you more mechanical components, which have been replicated to precision. All right. Now, let's take a look at the functionality. So the metal tracks will roll. They work better on a surface that has uh, friction to it, but as you can see here, I'm applying a fair amount of downward pressure, and they appear to be rolling somewhat decently. If we look underneath, I can move them further by hand. Also here, you can see that the Serial number for this model is 367 out of the 750 model run. Don't worry about these two stickers. These stickers were actually just holding the door, and kind of so I know where they are, uh, I just put them under here temporarily. All right, back to the functionality aspect. I showed you the opening compartments. You can rotate this 360 degrees. It is a little stiff initially, but it will free up with repeated use. Make sure my hand is out of the way so you can see that it rotates. The cylinders are somewhat jerky on this model, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because it means that the cylinders are strong enough that they will hold most poses that you set this machine at. As you can see, I'm taking a fair bit of effort here to get this thing where I want it. So, and that's because this has sat in my display case also for quite a considerable amount of time. So we've got this thing up here. That's about the extent of the height that it will go, which is not bad. You can tilt forward and down if you want to pose your front shovel dumping in a more conventional style, or you can open with the bottom dump open like that. Okay, now let's try to curl this back in. Bring him down a little bit closer to the ground. Again, without forcing anything too terribly hard. And as you can see, you can bring the machine back at a respectable rest position if you wish to do that. So the last thing I will do before signing off of this video, let's bring in a suitable truck that would be paired with this front shovel. So in this case, typically you'd use anything up to a 769, probably all the way up to really a 7, uh, maybe a 785. That might be overkill. So in this case, I've gone for a 770. Let's get him back up to a realistic pose here. And now, we can have him posing, discharging his load into the dump truck. And there you go. So that will conclude my review on the classic construction models Caterpillar 385C FS front shovel. As I said, this model really has a lot going for it, mostly in the fact that it is still directly available from CCM. So you can get it from ccmmodels.com. You do have to be a little bit particular and pay a little bit of attention to the cylinders because as I said before, they can be a little bit jerky and you do not ever want to break anything. But if you are into mining equipment or you're perhaps looking to add your very first CCM model to your collection and you don't want to break the bank, both of those are excellent reasons to pick up this front shovel. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll catch you in the next review.